Hello and welcome back to Miniwed's uh, live stream. Yeah. <laughs> so today I'm going to be working on the uh, back windows and the uh, cupola, the cupola seating area. Let's see. Turn that down a little bit. All right. So here's kind of where we're at right now. Um, we've got the chassis. I did print out a prototype chassis just to make sure everything's starting to line up. You can kind of see this, this guy right here. Shiny. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to find, I don't have any blueprints of the end of this caboose, which is a little tricky. Um, and so I'm going to try and, uh, line some stuff up with pictures. Um, uh, but first we're going to grab one of our windows. Turn these guys on real quick. Just so we have something to block it with. Uh, we're going to create a copy. That way uh, I don't lose any spacing. Got that. There we go. Now something that is a little tricky is I have a feeling my walls are considerably thicker than they, what they are on the, the original. Um, only for printing purposes. Um, so we may have to uh, to fudge a few things, but I think I'll be able to, to get to work. Because as of right now, unless those windows are just super narrow compared to the, uh, the side ones, um, where there's not enough room in there for the door. And there's a door that's almost the same width. So we'll figure that one out too. All right, and let's go grab a picture. Um, I mean, that is a pretty narrow door. Um, let's see if I can find a better picture. It's so hard to find a picture of this thing uh, straight on, which would be really helpful for uh, um, modeling, but I feel like we can get an angled one in there. Something like that. I'll show you what I'm doing here in a second. I'm actually looking at my other screen to try to line up an angle. And then we're just gonna draw a line, roughly the uh, the right angle. Okay, then we're gonna go to our sketches. I need to start looking more into uh, SketchUp. Um, I've been using three, Fusion 360 forever now, and so that's just kind of my go-to. Uh, but SketchUp allows you to insert a photo and then angle it. And maybe there's a way to do it in Fusion, but I haven't been able to figure it out yet. Okay. And I need to clean up my desktop, but that's okay. Uh, okay. There we go. Nice vintagey looking picture. See, I kind of feel like that needs to be angled a little more, but we can kind of get a good uh, idea. Where are we? Oh, there we go. Okay. I 
I will say so far it's kind of lining up. Um, another thing that you run into with doing this stuff is uh, Fusion works in orthographic views, uh, which are great for modeling, especially if you have really good reference. Let's see. And you can change that. Um, let's see, display camera perspective. There. Maybe we can get that to line up a little better. And it's also hard telling, you know, what uh, what camera lens and the angle and all that fun stuff. But Yeah, I could spend forever doing this. <laughs> it's so fun. All right, well, we'll just get as close as we can. So, either the caboose is wider than I'm currently making it, which is entirely possible, or those windows are narrow, narrower. Let's see if I can find a different picture. Thirteen. I'm counting the uh, the boards that go along the side of the caboose to see how wide those windows are. I think they're the same width. Okay, so what I may have to do is make mine narrower. Um, just to make them fit, which is really easy to do. All right, so what we're gonna go do is split these. Let's hide this real quick. Split that and then split the frame. Okay, cool. And then what we're going to do, uh, we're going to switch back out of this. See, look how nice that is. You got nice clean lines, everything lines up perfectly. And then we're just going to slide these over. Just a smidgen. I feel like that's an accurate word. Smidgen. Cool. And then now, I mean, if you look at this red line right here, that's pretty much our, uh, well, that is our halfway point. Um, and so you've only got a small, Thing here, and then you'd have your door, which is pretty narrow, anyways. Um, let's do Uh, and then we're just looking at this picture. You've got approximately one board between that. 
And so we're just going to put it right about there. So if you look at that, that is 0.214. Oh man, that's pretty. That is a super narrow door. Hmm. Now I feel like my OCD is going to kick in and I'm going to be like, what was I doing? No. I guess when you look at it, uh, where is the, so the deck would come up to right here. And then as far as curves go, I mean, I guess it's, it's not bad. And then, and then that door has a window that will come to about right there. I don't know, something like I mean that's that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, and then got the board that comes to the halfway point there. I think I could be happy with that. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna work. Okay, we're gonna say that works. And then we need a new shape. Like this guy. Oh, so close. All right. I'll go for it. In there. Here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is <laughs> extrude these out just so we have something to work with. Hide the canvases for a little bit and then we can hide sketches. Uh, we're going to create a mirror of the door we just did. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. 
And now, bring that other body back. Hit combine. I'm going to do this and this. And I'm going to cut, but we're going to keep the tools so we don't lose that door. Oh. This one. There we go. Cut, keep tools, go. And then cut, keep tools, and go. And then we'll have these little tiny pieces that we can get rid of. Actually, before I do get too crazy with that, I can just use those. Don't need to keep the tools there. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Bring that in to shallow up that door a little. And we're going to create a mirror of that as well, but we're not going to combine them. Uh, that way we can sandwich a piece of uh, um, acrylic in between, so we have a window. Now we should be able to grab that guy and that guy and center them out. Right, right. Okay. Now we've got our back door. And just because I like to be extra, I'm gonna go ahead and paint that. Ta-da! And then green on the inside. Go. Cool. And now we're just going to do something really crazy. We're going to grab this face and extrude it all the way out this way. And then we're going to do a cut instead. There we go. And now we can just get rid of all these. Nope, not those. <laughs> okay. And now we can create a mirror, this, and this guy. Now the origin is not an exact center point, so we'll have to move our doors a little bit, but that's okay. Get those centered. And there we go, we have our front and back doors already. Looking pretty good. Okay, now let's go fix this window. So, okay. And we're close to being done, but what we need to do is grab this guy and isolate it. And we have just a little bit sticking out on the end because I pushed it in a little further, but we'll go through and hit split body. And then we'll go get rid of this little sliver. There we go. Oh, we need to add that. Uh, let's see, where are you? No. No, that's not either. Uh, 
let's do this. New body. And then we get to do a new thing. We're going to align. So we're going to grab this face and swing it on over to this side. Oh, and did I put that as a component? I don't feel like it. That's weird. There to well, something's not working right. There's no components there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. See if that'll help. Sometimes when they're perfectly overlapped, it doesn't like it. So, nope. there we go. Combine. Perfect. Okay, so we got that. Now we got to go fix this guy. Isolate. Do the same thing. We'll split body. Use that face. And then get rid of the two little sliver remnants. Boom. And then unisolate. All right. Now we've got our window. So now um, the origin is a perfect center, but also this little face here is too. So we're going to create. A mirror of these two. Well, if I combine that, I'm going to cut and keep tools. All right. Oh, let me do the same thing. And now we've got our back windows and our back door. Pretty fancy, right? Um, let's see. Now we can go do the same thing over here. And this one, this one, this one, and this one. Hmm. Okay. Do this. Uh oh. Okay. Um, I didn't get that perfectly lined up, and so uh, whenever I went to go cut it, it left a sliver. And so it didn't completely separate it. And it may not. Uh, we'll find out. Thank you. Oh, it seems like. Oh, it says I can't like your uh, comment. But thank you, Joey. Thank you.
add Okay, did that work? Yes, it did. All right, remove that. Remove that. Okay. Now it's starting to look like a caboose, right? That's pretty exciting. Um, we can grab this thing, put it up here. And now we've got some uh, extra windows that we can go throw into the Windows file just to keep it nice and clean. Shut those off real quick. Window, turn those off. And we probably go and throw the doors in there too, just because. They've got windows on them, technically. So. Okay. And those are all the chassis pieces. Interesting. Turn that on the roof. Oh, we don't need the tools. <laughs> okay, pretty uh, pretty fancy. Okay, so now we are going to move on into at least blocking out the walls for the uh, the cupola area. Such a fun word. Uh, do that. Extrude. Make sure. Okay, set it to new component so it'll uh, um, keep it from connecting to everything else while we're trying to do this. And then we're going to go to our canvases, back it up to about right there. And then we're going to go to two sides. And then switch this to new body and then hit OK. Now that we've done that, we can grab the bottom of this. And so we can kind of start making just a flat piece to do a sketch on. Okay, let's see. Somewhere right in there would work. Now, if I remember correctly, the doors, I've got some pretty good interior pictures. Um, I found a number of videos where people have actually gotten to ride in this, which is now a goal in my life. <laughs> um, but I believe the doorway and uh, the hole, um, if that makes sense, there's a hole in between this, like for a walkway, and I believe they're the same width. So what I'm going to do is combine this, let's see, I'm going to do cuts, but keep the tools just like we've been doing, and then I can take this piece and remove it, modify, combine, combine. And it'll join and not keep the tools. All right, so now we have a perfect hole cut through the, the middle for our wall. And let's see, grab this guy. And then we're going to hit create a copy and scoot them on over. Somewhere right in there. Cool. 
So now if you, let's see, we'll take this roof off. So now that's looking pretty correct. Um, there's gonna be, there's like a bench here up on the corner. Um, and then that's also where, you know, the sign's at, <clears throat> excuse me. So I will have to dig for some more pictures, but definitely getting in the, uh, the right direction. Uh, and there's benches that we're gonna ready to do. Um, and then I'm probably going to redo this chassis file. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, only because I'd like to add some more support in it. And then I'd like the support to come out and kind of grab a hold of the, the little decks that pop off the back and front too. Very swanky. All right, let's see. So now that we kind of have this all blocked out, I'm going to go ahead and hide these two just for a second. And then we're going to put a another picture of the inside right there on the back wall. Desktop. Is that one? No, let me find out. Oh, that's the one I'm thinking of. Okay, so. Is it for the computer? And then it's 15 something. Oh. And this one. All right, since now we've got some approximate locations for things, we can kind of make this fit. So that door is definitely lining up better than I thought it would. So that's pretty cool. I'm uh, gonna shrink this down a little bit. Okay, we can make that work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a sketch right there. And then it knows we're working on that wall, uh, which is great. And then we're going to do that. Something like that. And then we've got a little bit of a curved surface right there. So we'll grab right around there. Down to the oh, floor. Just like that. Um, and then just because I think it'd be an easy thing to do, we'll go through and hit this. And that'll give it kind of a rounded surface to make it look more padded. And heck, let's just do this too, since we're here. All right, we've got a pretty rounded, smooth surface there. That looks super comfortable. I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> uh, let's see, finish sketch. So then we're going to start with the pad on top. Just like that. And come down and extrude it all the way down. Don't worry, we'll cut that chunk out later. New body, and then we can hide it. And then for the actual 
bench part. Turn that sketch back on. There we go. All the way down. New body. And it's green just like the interior. So we're going to hit A for appearance. Hit that. We'll turn the bench back on. Powder coat rough black. Then create a mirror of those two. And we can use the origin for that. Okay, let's turn off our canvases and see where we're at. Let's see. I can do going to build a little door frame. Also, the uh, window frames are smaller on the inside than they are on the outside, which is good to know. Uh, faces. Um, let's see. I'm going to duplicate this. Uh, edit, and we're going to make it a darker green. That green is definitely too dark, so don't worry, I'll go back and fix it. But. Now, I have seen a few different versions of this door, a few different paint schemes anyways, so um, it looks like it has changed a few times over the years. But that's looking pretty good. That's looking like the inside of the caboose. Uh, we've still got the, there's a door handle here. It's a really nice brass one, so that'll be fun to model. Um, and then, of course, the rest of our interior. Something like that. But cool. Well, I hope you guys have had as much fun as I have. Um, but that's all for today. But thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.